Qual o teu nome? Qual o teu nome? Vinícius. Olha pra aí, fala Vinícius. Vinícius jogador. Vinícius jogador. Isso. Vinícius o quê? Vinícius jogador. Vinícius jogador. Isso é, fala, fala. Eu entrou. Sabe, jogador. Luana agora. Luana jogador. Davi Luiz. Daniel Alves, jogador. Ei, agora foi o Você é goleiro. Ronaldo. 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 It's a quiet morning on the beach in the Boa Viagem neighborhood of Recife. And while you're likely to run into a few fishermen and beachgoers, you won't find many people actually in the water here. As it's said, this is the most dangerous beach in the world due to the heavy population of sharks just offshore. And as much as I'd love to jump in and prove it, I decided to skip the swim and head downtown to see what life's like on land in the capital city of Pernambuco. The historical city center is lined with colorful buildings and cheerful people. Traditional frevo music is in the air and signs of carnival are everywhere. Recife and neighboring Olinda host one of the best carnival celebrations in the country. And no matter when you go, you'll either witness the setup or remains of the year's big event. One of the main attractions during Carnaval here are the Boñecos Gigantes, or Giant Puppets. And I followed a guy into the Giant Puppet Embassy to see the incredible collection of wood and paper mache figurines on display. They're a little creepy, but very entertaining to say the least. That afternoon I had the opportunity to do something really special. A local friend invited me to an after-school program that she's involved with in Recife's largest favela, a Brasilia Temosa. The group's called Dreblando Crack, and it uses sports like soccer to help kids in the community avoid drugs and trafficking. We spent the afternoon hanging out, talking about life in Recife, and of course, playing a little fuji ball. After an awesome time with the crew, I made my way over to catch a sunset boat tour through downtown Recife. Our large pontoon boat cruised through the wide canals and rivers as I took in all the sights and sounds of my surroundings. And while I wouldn't consider it to be the Venice of South America as some label it, it was great to see Recife from a different perspective on my first day in the city. The next morning, I was up early to go out on a little adventure. I borrowed my friend's car and set out on a day trip to Porto de Galinhas. The first thing you notice upon arrival in the small beach town is that people of Porto de Galinhas, or Port of Chickens, really love their name. Besides the tacky bird figures everywhere, the beach itself is long and beautiful, and a natural reef just offshore makes it great for snorkeling and scuba diving. I spent the afternoon just soaking up the sun and relaxing in the sand before making the hour and a half ride back to the city. Luckily for me, I made it back just in time to meet up with local friends for some traditional Brazilian nightlife. Karaoke. <laughs> I always base the success of a trip on the insight and interaction I have with locals. 
And with that in mind, Hasife was definitely a hit. Until next time, travel deeper. Anaconda, jaguar, muitos porcos selvagens, macacos da noite que chupa o pescoço. Então, agora é só a selva. <laughs>